technical difficulties. I just literally, I had to delete the last live because my dogs were being super crazy. And I don't want the replay to be all crazy. So anyways, you guys, let's talk about charting and volume and a month. Let's start early. Let's not wait until the 25th and then be like, oh, I can hit Ruby. No, let's start working for it now. Number one, you have to have charts. If you don't have charts, you don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing. Charts are super duper important for the, for the lifetime of your business. Every month, you should have a new chart for your next goal. Um, and if you, you're going for the same promotion every month, let's say, for example, you, you know you're going for diamond this month and you don't hit it, the next month you need to get a new chart. You need to just start fresh every month. And yes, you can look at what you had going on last month, but what helps me is always looking at a clean chart, figuring out, okay, who's working? Who wants this? Who can I help promote? That's kind of like your strategy with charting. So you need the charts, okay? If you haven't printed out charts, please make it a goal to print out, you know, a couple ruby charts, a couple emerald, and a couple diamond. You want to have all three charts. And for example, right now, my goal is to go triple by August. So I'm looking at those charts, even though I'm not all the way there yet, right? So that is my roadmap. So I know, okay, I'm going to need a diamond. Who is that going to be? Who is on my diamond chart right now that I could see going double diamond or emerald or whatever who is putting in the work who is da 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 so i can put them on that chart and i can help them also hit their goals so you want to have charts charts are super duper important for your business they are so important so please get charts please have new ones on your chart you're going to write your monthly goal and your annual goal every month because that could change for example you could go diamond this month and like next month be super close to triple and you didn't even know that so you need to make sure that you have that in front of you and also not just write a goal that's unreachable but write a goal that you're like okay realistically right now i have three people working on my team right you could say that and so realistically i know i can go diamond right but i might not be ready for double diamond and that's okay but you can write that annual goal on the bottom okay of your chart so write your monthly goal and your annual goal and then right under that i write who i'm going to work with this month for example i could say this month i'm working with cassandra veronica destiny uh Alyssa, those are the people that I'm going to help promote, right? So that could be like my strategy. So if you have no one on your team, that is okay. Don't let that be like a distraction. Just let it be a way to push you to get people on your team. Also, another thing that helped me in the beginning is getting the chart and fill it with people that you know. Like print a diamond chart, say potential diamond team, and write everybody on it that you would want to be a part of your team. And don't stop until you reach out to everybody that you put in those boxes, Okay about this opportunity. It could be people on social media, it could be friends and family, it could be people that you used to work with. Whatever it might be, do that. Now, after you have your charts, how can you rally for volume, especially at the end of the month? Let's not wait till the 25th. Let's start now, you guys. So much can happen in a week. So this week, next week, let's just really, really start now. Let's see now as end of month and like let's just work like it's the end of the month. Like what do you need to promote? If you are at zero, you need 2,000 to go ruby. If you are at 2,000, you need 5,000 to go emerald. If you are at 5,000, you need 8,000 to go diamond. Break it down into days and figure out how much you need and how much you could bring in per day to help you hit your goal. So one thing I started doing is just looking at my overall volume um, per rank and saying, okay, this week I want to have an executive volume. Next week I want to have a ruby volume. The week after, I want to have an emerald volume. And the week after, I want to have a diamond volume. So that's going to help break down my goal. So I'm looking at my overall. I'm not really looking at the boxes. Because at the end of the day, when you promote, you need more overall. So I'm looking at my overall for each ruby. I'm looking at my overall for my diamond. And so you know that as a ruby, you need 2,000 overall. So how close are you to that now? If you only have 500, then push to get another 500 personal volume and then push to help your three people on your team get 500 each as well so that'll make you a ruby so that's 500 you 500 three people right that's not counting auto ships that's not counting personal orders none of that so you're gonna go ruby easy peasy like you guys could all go ruby in a week if you just set your mind to going ruby and then with emerald you know you need 5,000 so if you have 2,000 Break that down. If you have three people working, how much volume could each person get? 700 each. That will make 1,400, 2,000. See, I'm not good with math. math. And then your personal volume and then all, you know, everything goes together. So building volume is something that really all you need is a little bit of strategy and a little bit of thought into it. And literally you could do it. Another tip is break down your volume that you need into packs. Break down your volume that you need into customers. 
So if I am a thousand BV away from a promotion, how many cleanse and Thermofy X together could I get in customers to hit that volume? Write that down, 50. Let's say for example, I need 50 people. And then I know I have five people working on my team. Then I know, okay, if we each get 10 people, that'll be the volume needed. Perfect. Um, if you do packs, it's better. That's why upselling is huge. If you do packs, it's better because you're breaking down that volume into packs. I could get 10 customers right now with packs and I could hit my next goal, right? Um, so that's really important. Another way to get fast volume is to consistently be posting on your story, your news feed, going live and making videos as much as you can. I know not everybody can spend a lot of time doing that, but if you're putting yourself out there the most that you can, that means there's more eyes on you. And so at the end of your day, all day you could just focus on putting out content, putting out before and afters, putting out, you know, things you're doing with your kids, putting out videos, putting out the food, and throwing in your products. You got to make sure you're throwing your products into your stories and into your life. And what you're going to do is everybody that views your lives, everybody that views your story, everybody that likes and comments, that's a lot of people at the end of the day. Honestly, for me, it's about 300 people. I honestly can't reach out to all of them. It would take me all night. But I break it down into 50 to 100. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to reach out to everybody that liked and commented. And then I'm going to go to my story and everybody that viewed, I'm going to reach out to at least 50 to 100. So that's me consistently having conversations. And not only that, these are people that are watching me every day. So you can't just do one part of this. You have to do both. Because you can't message people that are viewing you if you're not putting out content, right? And you can't message people that are liking and commenting but you're posting once, once a week. It's not going to work. So you have to do it every single day and just do it as much as you can you don't have to overdo it you can post once a day on your news feeds and then make sure that you're putting out a quick clip of you talking on your story and then go live real quick about something random and throw in that you're gonna make your coffee because you're feeling exhausted right now with the kids being home simple things you don't want to go out there and just be an advertisement you want to be like a normal human being and you're gonna attract more people to you um stacy shared a really good quote this morning and it was like people don't want to buy products okay they want to buy um, what was it? I don't remember exactly how it went. But basically, they don't want to buy your products. They want to buy um, your personality, like who you are. So make sure you're sharing that because that's how you're going to attract people to you. And I've stressed this a lot of times with you guys. Put your face on camera. It's, I know it's hard. It's not always easy. We don't always look perfect. Like, look how I look today. And I went on live today. And I had, like, 15 people watching me the whole time. So that's 15 people that I didn't have watching me yesterday, right? 15 new people. I had like eight new faces on there, which was amazing. So I'm going to reach out to those eight new people that I've never seen on my live and I'm going to talk to them. So just those things um, will really help you get volume at the end of the month because you're forming relationships. So like I said, let's not wait till the 25th to do this. Honestly, we should all start the first like it's the end of the month. What do I need? And work every day like it's the end of the month. And I... I also have failed at this um, this month. There's been so much going on, right? So much distraction. But I decided like two days ago, I said, you know what? This is dumb. I have a huge goal to hit for myself and for my team. So I really need to get it together. What do I need to do to make sure that I'm getting customers and distributors? I need to make sure I'm posting content. I need to make sure I'm messaging everybody that likes and comments and everybody that views my story. So just break it down. In the morning, do the people that like and commented on your stuff from yesterday. So one th other thing I like to do is I like to work a day behind. So today I'll message everybody from yesterday's likes and comments and views. Today I'm making new content. And tomorrow I'll message everybody that viewed today's likes and comments and all that. So this is going to be able to help you to always have people in your inbox, number one. That's huge. If you don't have people in your inbox, you're not putting enough content out. You're not messaging enough people. You should always have your messenger blowing up or like people coming into you asking you questions. Also, this is more of an attraction marketing type of style, so people are going to be coming to you. So you're not going to feel like you're going to people besides the people that are viewing your story. You're going to have people, if they're interacting with you, they're liking and commenting and they're replying to your, your story throughout the day. If you're seeing something that's interactive, people are going to message you. So that's why I always tell people like, or I tell my team, ask questions. Ask people like, could you use this? Um, I don't know if this would help you in the moment, but... I have this available or I have some, um, you know, samples available or ask questions like how many of you guys are moms with home with your kids right now? Simple questions. People are going to be replying to your story. They're going to be like, yeah, me too. Oh my gosh, girl, it's been crazy. Right? So when you do message them about the product or the opportunity, it's not weird because you've already talked to them about something else. So that's kind of how I try to rally volume, which is what I'm going to be doing from now until the end of the month. I'm going to be having new conversations. I'm going to be putting out content every day, every day, every day. 
and I'm going to be messaging everybody that views my story. Um, I'm going to be doing host a post, but not to the extreme. I'm just going to make sure I have at least a couple up every day and just see what happens with that. But really where you'll get the most customers is by messaging as many people as you can that view your stuff. Um, host a post works great if you're doing it enough consistently. Um, but that's not really my my goal this month is to message everybody that views me. Everybody that views me, everybody that's in my stories. So if you're not putting videos out there because you're nervous, like I said, I get it. Just start slow. Pre-record yourself making your coffee if you're too uncomfortable being live and post that every day. Throw it in your story too. You can throw the same video that you make on coffee. You can throw that in your story. You can throw that in your news feed. You can throw that in Instagram story, IGTV. You can literally make one video and put it up everywhere. So... That's just a tip there. You don't have to make new content for all of them if you don't have time. You can literally just use the same thing. But I always try to put my face out there because I want people to see my face. I want people to see who I am. So that way um, they can see that I'm a real person. I'm like no perfectionist. I'm just a real person doing my thing, trying to help people. So that is how you can rally volume. Make sure you guys have charts. Please, please, please. Make sure you have charts because if I zoom with you or I'm helping you grow your team and I'm like, do you have a chart and you say no, it's really hard for me to help you learn how to grow this business and how to have a team if you don't have a chart. So please get charts um, as soon as you can. They're in your e-suite under documents. Um, and yeah, I hope these tips help you guys. Let's rally up that volume now. Let's figure out how much you need and start working for it every day. I promise it can be done. You guys can have your promotions done by the 25th if you start working now like it's the end of the month and don't wait till the 25th because a lot of people wait for auto ships to run i don't like see your chart as an empty chart every month and your promote your auto ships will just be extra volume um so i hope that helps but i hope you guys have a great day um and let's get it bye